Hey everyone, welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a brand new XP farming method. And it's pretty nice. You'll get some pretty quick levels by doing this. So as you can currently see, I am level 9. Our street credit is level 12. And here's kind of some of the equipment we'll be using today. Just to give you an idea of what I'm working with. If we come to our character tree here, I want to show you this too because it shows my blade level, my handgun, my assault level 4, and my blades level 2. Um, those will be getting leveled up as well while we do this. Now if I come to my character tree under reflexes, my handgun level is 4, my assault's 4, and my blades is level 2. And I'm showing you that because we this will also be giving us XP towards these different levels as well. Now the other nice thing about this is you will get items from this while doing this. You might get one it's better than you have. You can you know, obviously use it, tear stuff down for components. You will get a little bit of money too, but mainly this is just for XP. So here we are in the map. I'm going to zoom all the way out because I want to show you guys exactly where I'm at. Because I know this map can be kind of tricky, at least in my opinion. So if we come down, we're in the north side here in Watson. We're going to come all the way to here. There is a fast travel point here, which you have to get here, to, I believe, first to actually be able to see it. But it's basically right outside of this entrance. And we're going to be walking through here and coming into like this back alley back here. So let's leave the map. And here we are on the street. There is our fast travel point. Now there is a uh, cyber psycho mission in here. Um, you can just ignore it though. But we're going to walk through here. Hey, look. So basically what happens in this situation is the NPCs that we're killing, we can force them to respawn over and over and over again. Um, there's just, there's just like kind of a certain method to it that you have to do. So there's the, we're going to kill this group right here, this group of three. There is a group of like four to six by that big truck, which I'm going to try to avoid because it kind of messes up with the, the flow of things. And then way in the back is the other group that we actually want to kill. So do I have a melee weapon? I'd like to use a melee weapon if I have one. I don't want to use a baseball bat though. That's okay. Alright, so let's just kill this group first. Alright, that person is dead. I'm going to loot these guys really quickly. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to hop in their car and we're going to move the car. This is the only way I've been able to get these guys to actually respawn. Maybe you'll better luck than I do. Maybe you'll, you'll find a better way. We don't have to move the car. But for me, this is the only way I've been able to do it so far. So I'm going to move the car by this yellow one. Kind of loot that thing. And now we're going to head towards the back here. Reload our weapons. Hopefully these guys just kind of leave me alone. But I don't think they're going to. We'll come back here. And now we're going to want to kill the group of three that is also back here. And I guess this guy's not going to fight. And our, there we go. We've got our stealth level went up. We're going to take his stuff. And you'll see down the bottom left hand corner here in a second, it should start, we got, there's our street cred, we got 270 experience for our street cred. And that is basically it, and you can just keep doing this as many, as many times as you want to, just over, over, and over, and over again. So now if we come back up here, let's get our weapons reloaded. If, if you're like specced into like melee, like, like the, the fighting classes, you'll probably have an easier time doing this because you won't be going through ammo so quickly, like I am. Uh, but they do drop ammo. You can see they respawn, so we're just going to do it again. And they are dead. We got some ammo. And remove his car again. So, well, guys, that's basically it. That's all you got to do. You can just do as much as you want to. And you'll just get levels over time as you keep doing it. Um, there's probably some faster XP farming methods out there. And I'll do my best to find them. But I thought this would be a good one to show you guys. Especially early on. Because, again, at very low levels, you can just come back here and do this. Like, you don't have to be a super high level to do it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this for like 20 to 30 minutes or so. Just to kind of give an idea of how much 
uh, experience I'm actually getting and I'll see you guys at that time frame all right guys so if you end up having the issue where like we move the car but the bodies are not respawning all you have to do is run back into this corner over here and go like right into the corner and they will respawn apparently these guys respawned though already okay throw a grenade in there So we're gonna go right into this corner, like by these barrels, and come back out, and they will respawn. I'll show you guys here, because I know some of you're probably gonna have this issue. And we really do not want to draw those people's attention over there. And there we go, they have respawned. I've also just been throwing grenades. Um, it's just by far the easiest way to get to go through it, and. You'll get a lot more XP per hour by doing it with grenades. Okay, so I've been doing this for about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, I wanted to do it for 30 minutes, but I just, I'm not able to at this moment. And I just want to get this video up for you guys so you can see it. But, so here we are. So within 10 minutes, I went from level 9 to level 10, which I don't think that's bad. My street cred went up, I believe, to, was it 2 levels? Did we start at 12 or 13? It may have went up 3. I don't actually remember. <laughs> Um, we come here, our assault, handgun, and blades are all still the same. But oh you know you know what you know why that is though? That's because I don't have I don't have uh points, attribute points into this tree. So like those could go up to level five. That's my fault. Those would have gained levels though. Um but our engineer went to level four, our stealth, which is one of these somewhere, stealth would also went to level four. Um, and if you guys don't know this, if you, wherever this value is, that's the highest level that the, the things in there can get. I didn't think about that at the start of the video. So our handgun and assault and blades definitely would have went up higher levels. That's just my fault. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, leave a like on the video, please. This is the first uh, video I posted, the money farming guide you guys really seem to enjoy. And I'm really happy. If there's any other guides or anything like that you would like to see, let me know down below in the comment section. Um, and with that said, guys, I will see all of you in the next video.